In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to create a manual display filter. And again, we're going to do this on the parcel layer. So I've selected it. I've already got my symbology pane up. And uh, just like we did with the scale based display filters, we'll go to the display filters button. Click on that. You have to first enable display filters. Default is going to be by scale, uh, which we looked at in the last demonstration where we were uh, setting it to where once we got inside of 50,000 as our map scale, that we would only draw parcels where the uh, market value was greater than uh, or equal to 500,000. So that was the scale based display filter. In this case, we're going to look at setting a manual display filter. All right, so in this case, I will select a uh, new display filter. And uh, then we could set something like uh, market value. And this all, and again, this is just an expression. So when you're setting a manual display filter, it's by expression only. There's no scale based uh, component to this. So we'll just set this to be greater than or equal to, let's say 10 million. Hit apply. And now we've got our first uh, manual display filter. And you can see it automatically very quickly updated my uh, display. So that now what I'm displaying is only parcels of land where the market value is greater than or equal to 10 million. Now it is possible to define more than one display filter, uh, one manual display filter. Only one of these can be active at any time, but I can uh, initiate the creation of a second filter. So in this case, I might set it to where Maybe I want to go to the opposite end of the spectrum here. So maybe market value is less than or equal to, let's say, 100,000. Okay, apply. And now I have a second manual display filter where the market value is less than or equal to 100,000. Now, as I said before, only one of these filters can be active at a time. And right now, filter one is active. Notice that it has a green check mark. Notice how it has a darker green color. Filter two has that dark green check mark, but it's kind of grayed out a little bit. Right? And so that's how you can tell which of these two is active. Now I can switch it very quickly by clicking on filter two, and you'll see now that it's displaying uh, parcels where the market value is less than or equal to 100,000. So you just click these little green check marks to flip back and forth. And you can add more than two, right? You can add multiple display filters. You're not limited to just two. But in this case, just to kind of keep it simple, we'll limit this to two display filters. And these filters can be renamed as well. You don't have to stick with the default name. So I might say market value greater than 10 million, hit return. And I might say market value less than 100,000. So you can definitely uh, customize these as needed. Uh, and again, so different names, of course, you can add as many display filters as you want. Only one of these can be active at a time. And the way you initiate uh, a filter as being active is simply to click on the green check mark. That's it for this time.